Welcome to ISL Enabled Virtual Lab of CSIR. Hello children, I am Shobha. Today, let's learn about water purification technologies. Do you know, around two-third of Earth's surface is covered with water? And majority of the world's water is undrinkable due to excess salts in it. Water is an absolute necessity of life. 60% of our body weight is water. It is useful in regulating body temperature and flushing out toxins. Clean water is vital for every human being. Consumption of contaminated water can lead to diseases like diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, typhoid, etc. Dr. S. Sridhar, a senior principal scientist and associate professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering Sciences at CSIR IICT Hyderabad has developed water purification technologies by making specialized membranes for filtering groundwater and river water and also developed technology for generating water from atmosphere. The membranes are made with specific polymers. The polymers are first liquefied and then casted in required shapes. Membranes with different porosity are made for different applications. The commonly used polymers for the production of these membranes are Cellulose Acetate CA Polyvinylidene Fluoride PVDF Polyether Sulfone PES Polysulfone PSU and polypropylene PP Fluorosis is a dreaded water disease caused by presence of excess calcium fluoride in water. The fluoride leaches out in the groundwater due to hydrogeological conditions in Earth's crust. It is prevalent in parts of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan. Reverse osmosis is a technology which can remove excess fluoride and other elements such as arsenic, nitrate, iron, etc. from the groundwater. This system works on the principle of application of excess water pressure that is more than the osmotic pressure of the groundwater to force clean water through the membrane and obtain the water that contains less than 1 mg fluoride per litre. Nanofiltration In nanofiltration, the membrane or the filter used is around 2 to 5 times more open than the reverse osmosis membrane. Here, through molecular filtration or sieving technique, the membrane rejects turbidity, that is, haziness present, and excludes germs like bacteria, virus, and amoeba present in surface waters like rivers, ponds, and lakes. The membrane retains sufficient minerals like calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium and phosphorus in the water which are essential for humans. This technology is alternative to reverse osmosis. Children, what are the waterborne diseases caused by contaminated water? How can you prevent them? Can you make a membrane with natural polymers and test it out? So children, in this part, we have seen river source mosses and nanofiltration. In the second part, we will learn about atmospheric water generation and other water purification technologies.